Hi everyone, welcome to another Distress Oxide and Ink combination. Um, this is because this week we're looking at Blueprint Sketch and I've only got this one in the ink. I haven't actually got in the oxide, which I thought I did have, unless I've mislaid it. So it actually gives me the opportunity to show you how uh, you can mix inks and oxides absolutely doesn't matter now they do have obviously different properties different effects when they're dry but essentially if you're looking at doing a background um, and you really don't have the same in either ink or oxide it's fine go ahead mix them I'll show you what they look like anyway so let's take a look at blueprint sketch first of all um, if you're interested in other colors we are working our way alphabetically through each and every one of the distress colors I would say distress oxides because that's how it started but you know sometimes I'll just have inks instead and we'll go with those so um, either way you get to see the color for each now this blueprint sketch is a really royal blue it's lovely bright blue um, I just think it's it's kind of I want to say the bluest of blues it really is gorgeous so there we go there is a blueprint sketch isn't that just beautiful really really lovely so that is in the ink um, the oxide is very similar from memory I'm sure I'm sure I did have the oxide but here I'm going to mix oxide into this so I'm going to go for our first color combination salty ocean so I'm going to stick with the blues I'm just going to do a strip through the middle here and blend that look at that it just blends so beautifully I mean what's wrong with that that's ink to oxide absolutely no problem whatsoever I haven't even had to go in back in with my first color have I so that's salty ocean and then let me just get a wipe uh, clean my mat a little bit and then we'll go into twisted citron let's brighten this up again this is an oxide a gorgeous gorgeous greeny yellow color I'm really falling in love with this color I'm looking forward to doing the combination for this one when I get there obviously it's a tea so I've got a little way to go yet but twisted citron is just going to be such a fun one to mix with lots of other bright colors I'm going to see if I can do a toned down version of it as well maybe for those who maybe don't like it quite so bright but look at that color combination so we've got blueprint sketch which we're looking at today salty ocean and then twisted citron how gorgeous is that so let's go totally different colorway now let's pop these aside and we're going to go with a four color combination so let's just remove that and dry off the water because all of these inks are water reactive oxides and inks so you do want to be careful and make sure there's not any dampness on your blending mat because you will get reactions now let's just go again with the blueprint sketch at the bottom here I'm not going to do a huge amount just blend that into the base of my strip like so really nice idea actually if you're not sure what die cut sentiment to do on a card for example if you were to go in with um go and ink a panel like this so do a blended strip like this and then die cut your sentiment to match your card that's a really lovely um way of having a colored sentiment nice and easily so blueprint sketch i'm going to go into shaded lilac a very pale uh lilac color now this one my ink pad is drying now I'm going into inks this time rather than going into um, oxides there we go beautiful look at that so like I say my ink pad is drying out but I'm going to show you a tip at the end of this color combination for working with inks that are drying and not quite going on as smoothly as you like there we go so you can see that's not it's not working the best this ink pad bless it i have to get a new one before i start doing the shaded lilac video definitely there we go but we've still gone into lilac there so then i'm going to go into spun sugar and very again a very pale pink extremely pale this one there we go now let's 
Okay, we picked raspberry. Look how bright this one is. Beautiful. That's going to work into that pink really nicely. So we've gone from the core blue into almost a hot pink. There we go. Hopefully you can just see that like so. Now, where we've gone from blue into purple into pink, I think the light is uh, not showing that off to its best. Let's do a bit more pink here. Let's brighten this up just there. And I think I want some more of the spun sugar. Let's get lots and lots of that on my ink pad. Sorry, on my brush. It's such a pale colour. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. You see, actually, the blue into the shaded lilac, very, very similar colour tones there. Now, as you can see here, my blending's not perfect. I'm really happy with the blends with those. But with the inks and with sort of a, an ink pad that's drying out, not overly happy with how smooth that went on. So what I tend to do then is I work with it and I go with some water. I've got water in little mister bottles everywhere and I just do a little mist from a distance and that's going to help blend everything but also add this lovely distressed and mottled look. You can see it happening straight away. It takes no time at all to work. Now you can either leave that to dry, air dry, you can heat set it, heat dry it as well, or you can just pop a piece of kitchen towel over to lift up the excess so you really have that mottled effect. And I just think that's lovely. I think that then sort of disguises any areas that you're not happy with. Uh, let's do it to this one just to show you. It doesn't have to be on blending that you're not happy with. You may just like the effect. So just give that a few moments. It does take longer, I think, to have an effect on the oxides than it does on the inks. So you can probably see it more on the bottom here, less on the top already. Um, just give that a moment and then we'll lift that off. The longer you leave it, the more there's going to be a reaction. So just a little mist like that, there we go. And then you can see that, oh, that looks like the bottom of the sea, doesn't it? With the sunlight here coming through the top, bubbles maybe in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, if you want to really add some distressing, spray some water in your hand and just allow those much bigger drops, droplets, to fall off your hand and onto the, onto the paper and leave it. So while I just dry everything else up around, just leave that. Again, heat set if you want to, let that react, give it time. So this is one of the properties of distress inks and distress oxide. They are water reactive. Um, this is like the main reason people used to buy uh, distress inks and oxides in the first place. Um, you don't have to use the reaction as such. You don't have to mix them with water, but I do love the effect they give. Um, over the years, lots of other, of other brands have caught on to this sort of property as being a good thing. And, it, you know, you will find it. Test out all your inks at home because you'll probably find you've got others there that are water reactive without them even advertising it. Uh, I think maybe originally it used to not be such a good thing, um, but Mr. Holtz has made it so. So there we go. So much, much bigger blobs if that's what you wish. So there's two colour combinations there using the Blueprint Sketch Colour. Like I say, mix your inks and oxides, absolutely no problem with them. Obviously they blend slightly differently on the paper. Oxides are much creamier. Um, you can really, you can see that, that nice blend uh, with the pinks now are much better. Um, but yeah, enjoy using this colour. It is absolutely beautiful. I just think it's brilliant if you're doing anything um, so I think it, it reminds me very much of the Union Jack sort of blue and also, of, of course, the American flag sort of uh, blue as well. And then things like graduation and um, I would definitely be using this for a sort of teenage boys card, that sort of thing. So um, enjoy using this. Let me know if you've tried it and what combinations you loved using. And I'll be back for another in the Distress Oxide and Ink combination range very soon. So we're working our way through the blues at the moment and the next video will be another blue called Broken China. So 
uh, won't be too long before that and then we're actually going on to a brown which will be interesting so i'll see you again very soon for another one if you like this video and you want to see more please do subscribe and don't forget to check out the playlist where i've gone through all of the a's in the distress oxide and we're now halfway through the blues as well the b's sorry as well so uh, hopefully i'll see you again very soon take care